Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. I'm actually recording this video for my Asus ePC and um, I apologise if there's any sound issues or anything like that. Now with my Asus ePC I don't have that much desktop resolutions or desktop space. Um, I have 800 by 480 which isn't that much. Now uh, to increase this desktop space I can do use something called virtual desktops and I've explained this before and I've shown a program called Virtua win now I've, I've tried this out um, well I've used it for quite a while but um, I noticed that when I wanted to do things I found myself downloading modules for it adding them in adding them in enabling them configuring them and all things like that I was looking I started to look for a new solution um, without the need to get these extra modules and I found a program called virtual dimension uh, the program is free I'll provide the link in the description and it's really good it, it has everything I want in it so I'll just be showing you it so let's run it so straight away I've run it and I now have this, um, this sort of window in the corner and it says desk naught on it and it's got images of what I have in my taskbar so cam studio which is what I'm actually using to record this video so it's obviously showing me the applications that are inside desk naught now if I was to go to the uh, taskbar icon and click configure uh, you can see there's some options here always on top so this will apply to this uh, virtual dimension window here this is close to tray auto switch desktop and mouse warp now I've, I've ticked mouse warp to show you it and um, if I then go into desktops you can see it says desktop desk nor if I want to change the name of this I can I'll just go to configure you can see it says desk nor the wallpaper of desk nor and you can see it's got a preview of the wallpaper and a hotkey for it and the color of it so um, that is one thing that we had to download a module in um, virtual win to do and this does it automatically so we can give that a new name so if I say um, I don't know home I apologize if you can hear me typing or anything because it's using the built-in mic so that now says home I'm gonna click insert you can see it's now added desk one which was from desk naught and I can keep pressing insert as much as I want now I'm just going to go up to desk 3 so you can see it's now added in this window home, desk 1, desk 2, desk 3 so um, I can then switch between these desktops now there's a couple of ways I can do this um, I can actually just drag my mouse because I enabled that mouse warp feature I can just hold, drag my mouse over and it switched to desk 1 uh, or I can actually click on this and say click to home click to desk 1 now you won't see but as I've done that it's actually got a little on-screen display here I'll we'll try and get over to it so you can see this one so it actually comes up with an on-screen display as well which is handy because you can also use um, keyboard shortcuts which is in the shortcuts tab so you can um, go through your desktops and the OSD which is that little thing you saw with the text you can configure that with its own font, its background you can have it not have a shade so it can just come up as the text you can make it transparent, you can make this box transparent as well if you go to the display and you can just make that transparent if you want to so it's, it's a really full featured program which just has everything you need and also another great feature of it if I was to start Firefox now I don't think this is available in virtual win but it actually adds a context menu to the title bar so I right click and it says virtual dimension and I can send this application to another desktop or I can change it or I can go to properties or I can make it transparent or I can minimize it to tray a lot of those different things that you get with these applications so it's very useful to have um, if uh, like me I have a low resolution on my um, desktop um, on this uh, mini PC so it's well worth getting now another thing you can do another great feature uh, say I've got Mozilla Firefox um, oops I just switched by accident <laughs> uh, say I've got Firefox in um, in my window here and I want to switch that onto desk 3 what I can actually do is click this uh, icon and drag it to desk 3 let go it's now on desk 3 it stays on home but I've dragged it onto desk 3 so um, very good features uh, easy to use um, I really like it I'll provide the download link in the description uh, thanks for watching my video please comment rate subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again.